So it's a Dr. Odick review time video. And so I love Dr. Odick metal detecting products. They make really high quality stuff. So not only are their metal detectors awesome, but their accessories are awesome. So here's one example of their digger. It uh, comes with this really, really great belt loop. And I'll show you, it's really actually quite heavy. A really heavy duty, solid digger. So this one's a real beaut. Look at it. It's like really heavy duty. Look how thick this is. Yes, I've used it before and I didn't clean it well enough, but there we go. Um, wow, this is just like fantastic. It has a nice rubber handle. We have this little guard here so your hand doesn't slip and actually get cut open. And uh, this is great because it has serrated edges here, right? Look at that. And serrated edges here. And you can see they're really thick. It's so thick that the dirt, the dirt actually got in there. And I haven't uh, been able to get it out because I didn't bother cleaning. Now, what's great about this is on the back, you have a measuring. So it goes from two inches all the way up to six inches. So you can measure, uh, like say your metal detector says the object is five inches under the ground. You know exactly how much to dig. It's that precise. So our next fantastic Dr. Odick product is their MT6 Pro pin pointer. And this one, I did a whole video demonstrating it. Comes with this really nice uh, belt uh, holster, really quite nice. Uh, this takes one nine volt va uh, battery. It's very lightweight. It weighs only six ounces. Let's get it out of the sheath. And yes, I've used it. As you can see, <laughs> there's already soil in there, but this is really fantastic. Comes with a built-in flashlight. Also, we also have a measuring on here. It can detect up to four inches deep and it goes up to four inches right here. And we have this little, if you take a look here, this little blade that helps you when you metal detect. It actually, you can uh, scrape the dirt away. So it's like a scraper as well. I'll just turn it on really fast. Here we go. We got the logo, nice uh, rubberized feel with a heavy duty plastic. We'll turn it on. And when you see the white, that means it's unbalanced. You press this button, one button will balance it. There you go. Now it's uh, calibrated and balanced and ready to go. And let's see. Aha. And when you're on target, it shows you how far you are away from your target. There you go. Okay. And it has three different functions. Listen to this. So we got sound. We got vibrate. And then we got both vibrate and sound. And it's vibrating. All right, next product. They have a really great pair of headphones and these are uh, actually attached to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. They sell all these accessories uh, separately or they come with the metal detectors as one great big package. And there we go. We got these really, really nice padded ear cups right here. Let's check them out. Um, and yes, I got them dirty because I used them already. And right here, we got a padded headband. Really, really quite nice. And they fold. So I'll show you how they fold. So you can also adjust the length. And they also fold in. So let me just uh, close this. I'm trying to do this with one hand and film with the other. And I can't do that. Okay, now it's done. All right, so, and then these just fold up. So you can uh, just place them in your bag and put them away. So there you go. And then you just fold them up. There you go. Now they're going to fit right in your bag. But wait, what bag do you use? You're going to use your Dr. Odick digger bag. And there we go. We have uh, all these little loops here. You could place uh, little uh, maybe diggers and shovels and all sorts of doodads in here and tools. We have a zipper on the top. Um, we have this that goes right around your waist that actually expands to all different waist sizes. So if you're a fatty like me, this will actually fit around your waist. It's a nice size bag. And let's open it up and take a look inside. So it has one zipper compartment here. And then we have another zipper compartment in here as well, which is fantastic. All right, now a new product just arrived. So let's open it up, do an unboxing, and check it out. Okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, the Dr. Odick shovel. And uh, wow, okay, let's get this open. 
Okay, so it's seen a uh, little bit of uh, from, you know, the delivery services. So let's just hope it's okay. And it's very heavy. It's very solid because it's really heavy duty metal. So let's get this open and check it, check it out. I can hear it. Aha. Okay, so we have to put things together. But first, let's check out what the features are on it. Okay, so we get, oh, it looks like some kind of camo, uh, camo stuff. I have to figure out what that is. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This is really, I'm going to tell you right now, this handle is really heavy, quite heavy. This is not your average shovel. I had one by a company by the name of Root Slayer. Nomad, it was called the Nomad Root Slayer. And it was so flimsy. I paid like 60 five dollars for it for my metal detecting and it was so flimsy the tip broke right off of it and after like two digs with it this thing is not going to break that's for sure this is like really heavy heavy duty metal all right so let's take off these rubber bands because they're protecting the sharp edges so you don't cut yourself when you're opening it okay uh here we go and so they had this like silicone rubber going around it oh wow Holy cow, look how sharp those teeth are. Look at that. Okay, so the Dr. Odic, right off the bat, what I'm liking about it, uh, the Dr. Odic uh, spade shovel or uh, heavy-duty digger garden shovel with the T-handle, uh, which is also a root cutter, I might add, for gardening, uh, for trenching, for camping, for transplanting, and all that other jazz and metal detecting, uh, comes with a 24-month warranty from the date of the original purchase. That is just absolutely amazing. Okay, right off the bat, I'm liking that. Because my Root Slayer Nomad that I paid 60 something dollars for busted after two digs. And guess what they told me? They told me to go pound sand, and they didn't give me my money back. So we got a user's manual. Here we go. And it says, the T-shovel is composed of three parts. The T-shaped handle the middle rod and lower rod with shovel blade. The T-shovel is designed to be detachable and dual purpose. It can be assembled into a long handle and a short handle for different uses. Okay, that is fantastic because you don't have to lug around a gigantically long shovel if you don't want to. You can make it shorter or longer. So basically you can take out the middle rod and uh, screw in the handle to the shorter part or you can make it one long shovel. That is actually very, very good. Okay, so we're going to stand the lower rod with the shovel blade on the ground, connect them. Okay, all right, let's do this, um, and let's check it out. Okay, it says, no, if the lug nut is too tight to unscrew, please get the blade in the ground properly and shake the handle forward and backward. So by uh, you know sticking this right into the ground, we have a point, by the way, uh, that's how you can like screw this on tightly or unscrew it. Okay, so, so far the features are a V-cutted blade with serrated edge. So let's uh, check this out. And I'm not going to kid you when I tell you, this is like double the weight of my Nomad Root Slayer. I mean, absolutely amazingly heavy, which is a good thing if you need a heavy-duty shovel. Now look at this. Holy cow, look at those teeth. That is absolutely amazing. Look how sharp the point is. Yikes, <laughs> that's actually really sharp. And uh, you can actually tell the quality. Look how thick this is. This is really, I don't know if you can see this. This is really thick. Oh yeah, it has a lot of weight to it. Okay, so here's the back. And yeah, this is really thick metal. Let's check this out. That is not some thin, uh, thin flimsy type of metal. Now you have, oh, this is great. So this is actually where you place your feet. So it has like a really, uh, yeah, this is thick. This is very thick. This is really well done. You can see it has like little cuts in there to give it a grip. Okay, so we're going to put this together, take it apart, make it shorter, make it longer. How do you do that? Okay, so we have this unlock, and this is the only part of the shovel that's plastic are these like lugs, these tightening lugs. Okay, so you're going to turn it towards the arrow, and there you go, and now... It actually makes the handle so it comes off and voila. All right, so let's uh, put it together. We'll make the short sh part of the shovel first and then we'll make the longer version of the shovel. All right, let's go. 
Okay, so you got your handle off. So what you do is you just uh, place this in here. Now I'm going to show you, see where it says unlock. Now the threads, if you look right here at the threads, right? You don't see threads on this side, really. Um, let's look, get in there close. This is the uh, threads, this little plastic piece here. It's the only piece, uh, piece on here that is plastic. So how you uh, tighten it is you turn it, not the unlock direction, but the opposite direction, this plastic piece. So you get a grip on that. You hold the shovel with one hand so it doesn't move, and then you turn it this way, right? And you turn it, the plastic piece, until you can't turn it anymore. And now you're locked in. Uh, here we go. So now you're locked in. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And here it is. Wow. It's, it's, it's got heft to it. It's got weight. It's like really, really sturdy. All right, let's take it apart and make one big shovel. So how to disconnect the T-handle. You just pick it up. And, okay, let's find the spot where it says unlock. Right? Right here it says unlock. So you're going to turn this lug nut this way towards the arrow and then here we go boom it, it, it pops right off but now we want to put the other rod on so let's go ahead and do that okay so when you want to make the whole entire shovel you have to make sure the plastic part right here is going to go this way towards the blade okay so this part this is for your T handle to attach so we're going to put it this way with the plastic lug nut going towards the middle rod. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Okay, so we're gonna place this in here, just like so. And remember, this is gonna be your locking mechanism. So you're gonna turn it until you can't turn it anymore. And now it's tight. Oh yeah, it's not going anywhere. Next, you're gonna grab your T-handle, okay? And here we go. We're gonna place it right into here, like so. And now you're going to turn it in the opposite direction of the unlock arrow. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and you're going to turn it until you can't turn it anymore. And when you're doing that, make sure that you're not holding on to this and twisting this because you're going to lo loosen this part up and then it's going to come apart. So you're going to hold it from a different spot. Or you can just uh, stab this into the ground, stake it into the ground, and you'll probably get a better, tighter connection that way there we go it's all together two seconds all right so here it is all put together you can see this is a nice tall shovel now uh with it you know being the fact that you can shorten this this makes it that much better um all right let's take a look at that wow look at that that is sharp and thick and really really well made yep okay i'm really liking this shovel um, wow. All right. I'm going to actually, hold on. We're going to, we're going to actually try it out. We're going to actually try this out. We're going to go out in the yard. This is actually the perfect metal detecting sh uh, shovel. If you're actually going to go into a uh, hard ground, this shovel is, I mean, phenomenally tough. This is not going to bust off. You've got a two year warranty. Let's uh, just flip it over to the other side and holy cow. Wait, I'm dropping it. Uh, it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is nice and heavy. This is really thick. Look at the, uh, yeah, look at, look at this. The pole part is absolutely amazingly thick. And uh, this is really amazing. It reminds me of an arrowhead. Now, I remember, uh, I think last year or something like that, or several months ago, they actually, they interact with their uh, Facebook uh, you, uh, members. And they asked, they showed several different designs and they asked everyone to vote, um, you know, metal detectorists to vote on which shovel, uh, you know, they wanted to uh, pick because uh, they had different types of uh, heads over here, you know, spade pieces. And uh, everybody voted. And uh, we as a community actually uh, chose this particular design and it's actually the best. So this part here is your foot rest. Uh, you want to like really shove this into the ground, you push down on it and your foot won't slip because we have these little grippies over here. And uh, so you won't cut your foot up as you uh, get into the ground. Wow, I just can't believe this thing. So if you want to get yourself a heavy duty shovel, 
Why pay $79.99 for it? That's outrageous. And look, look how crappily made the competitor shovel is. You can see, look how badly, wow, that's like really bad. That's $79. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, uh, that camo tape over here. Here we go. It's like a cloth. It's almost like an ace bandage. Uh, what is that used for? It's actually a gripping tape. So you can actually wrap it anywhere you want on the shovel. And uh, if you want to put it around the handle, you can put it around the handle. If you want to put it uh, on a certain spot of the shovel, you can do so. And these foot pegs, again, I just really love these foot pegs. Um, I really think they're uh, very, very high quality. Uh, wow. Okay, this is great. This is fantastic. All right, we're going to go out really fast. We're going to actually just like dig a little square of uh, out of the ground, and we're going to check out how this works. Good morning. It is uh, 6.41 a.m. here in New York, and that is the moon. It looks like a full moon. Wait, oh my God, that's actually really cool. Okay, let's get the shovel out. It is 33 degrees out. Let's see how well this performs in 33 degrees. Okay, it is so cold. Watch, watch my breath. <gasps> Hello. <sighs> I'm not kidding you. All right, you can tell how well a shovel works by if if it's freezing out. And again, <sighs> yes, uh, that's how cold it is out. All right, so I just uh, actually stabbed it into the ground. All right, I got Crocs on, so don't laugh. Yes, I'm wearing Crocs with no coat on. All right, so we're going to cut it into this ground, this frozen ground. Let's go ahead and do so. All right, look at this. Whew. Okay, here we go. And don't laugh at my Crocs. Cuts right through the ground like butter, frozen ground, just like butter. Holy cow. All right, now, hold on. Let's cut another plug. And wow, it is freezing out here. Look at that, right through there. And hold on. Look at that. Holy cow. That's a perfect, perfect cut. Look at that. In front, look, I can't even lift it. It's so frozen. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, this shovel, you got to get it. <laughs> you got to get it. Yes, you definitely have to get this shovel. There'll be a link in the description below. And here, <sighs> hello, everybody. That's how cold it is. We're talking in like the, the frozen tundra over here. So obviously this thing did not break, did not snap. Yes, a marvelous job again by Dr. Odick. See you guys all soon. I'm running in the house. <laughs> I'm taking my Crocs with me.